he did and through those uh, activities will blow your mind. The House panel overseeing the impeachment of Attorney General Ken Paxton just announced its prosecutors for the upcoming trial in the Senate. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Britt Moreno. I'm Daniel Marine. High-powered Texas attorneys Dick DeGarren and Rusty Hardin will present the case on behalf of the House impeachment manager. They say it needs to be an open and transparent process for the public. Now, our Capitol correspondent Monica Madden was at the news conference. Monica, what do we know about these lawyers? Hey Daniel, well both DeGarren and Hardin are very well established criminal defense attorneys from the Houston area. They've worked on a ton of major cases respectively and combined have 100 years of legal history. So Mer said these are the people for the job and they did make one thing clear today. They were not going to outline any facts of the case, but did talk about how they intend to handle this trial in the Senate and they said they plan to take this very seriously and want a transparent and fair process. Now, a couple other things we learned about the case today and how this trial is going to operate. Uh, both attorneys and prosecutors, I should say rather, said that they will not have any contact with the senators. We still have not heard any word yet on whether Senator Angela Paxton will have to recuse herself, the wife of Attorney General Ken Paxton, of course. Now. Um, the other thing that we did learn is that the prosecutors are hoping that the Senate is going to operate this like a trial, meaning they'll have criminal, uh, they'll, they'll have cross-examination, they will be able to prevent, present evidence both sides, and they want this to really be a fair process for everyone in the public to see and hear. Here's what they had to say about how this will play out today. This is not about punishing Mr. Paxton. It's about protecting the public. The facts in this case are overwhelming and conclusive, and I have full confidence in these two esteemed attorneys to present those facts fairly. Another thing we learned today is that Paxton, while he is suspended pending the trial outcome in the Senate, will not be receiving a paycheck. He makes around $150,000 a year. Now, a couple of you emailed us asking about whether or not the six employees of the Office of Attorney General who recently announced they will be taking a leave of absence to defend him in the Senate trial, you asked if they would be paid. We asked the controller's office, who was the one who said Paxton will not be receiving a salary for the time being, and they said they're looking into whether or not the those employees will be getting paid while they're taking a leave of absence, and we will let you know as soon as we have those answers. Back to you guys. All right, Monica, thank you very much. And as she mentioned, Rusty Hardin and Dick DeGarren have been part of several high-profile cases. Now, in 1994, Hardin defended Houston Rockets head basketball coach Rudy Tomjanovich on a DUI charge. He got the case dismissed in four days. Hardin also represented baseball star Roger Clemens after reports claimed he used illegal steroids. A jury found Clemens not guilty. And remember the marriage between model Anna Nicole Smith and 89-year-old Texas millionaire J. Howard Marshall? Well, Hardin represented the Marshall estate, and a jury found the estate owed Smith nothing as his widow. Now, as for Dick DeGarren, in 2005, he defended former House Majority Leader Tom DeLay against indictments for money laundering and conspiracy. He also represented Waco cult leader David Koresh at one point, and Robert Durst, who admitted to killing his neighbor. DeGarren used a self-defense argument and won.